The Colonel of the Regiment, Major General Dean Milner, will now briefly address the parade. <laughs> That's a challenge. Okay, good morning. It's good, great to see everybody. Uh, an excellent day here. And uh, just before I kick off, I'd just like to recognize a few people. Uh, it's great to see the former Colonel of the Regiment, uh, former CO, uh, General Retired Peter Atkinson. Always great to see you. Next to him, and he's actually the acting base commander right now with his lovely wife, Teresa. Um, and as you know, uh, commander of the regiment just it seemed like a couple months ago. It's great to have you in O. Uh, we have it and, and the base RSM. Great to see you. Uh, we've got a number of the units here. It's great to see the units coming out and supporting this very important event. Um, oh, and George, we've got you right there. George, uh, former Colonel of the Regiment, former Colonel Commandant. Uh, always great to see George, and and he's always always here supporting the unit. So so wonderful. The back row, um, we've got some great RSMs, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, uh, Sterling uh, RSM back in the in the 90s uh, when I was adjutant, I always needed a little bit of supervision. Um, he was RSM during that time frame. Great to see a Sterling and his son, Sean, who, who we all know was RSM of the regiment. Um, Brigade Sergeant Major, uh, great support, really great to see you. That's a couple times I've seen you now over the last little bit, so outstanding. My old RSM, Dennis, uh, we go way back, and there's nobody that supports the regiment like he does. Uh, we were. RSM CO team back in the uh, the early 2000s. I know he drove up on his motorbike. He's, he's president of the guild recently, chapter, the Kingston chapter, but always here supporting the, the Dragoons. To the families, uh, it's always nice to see the families. Uh, Shenick, who's also a chief warrant officer, uh, and Isaac, and, and, and I think the rest of the family's out there somewhere. Uh, but Stacy, uh, wife of, uh, of the new RSM of Long, uh, and her parents, uh, great to see Ralph Lowe, Holy Jumping. He even took a day out of the SJS to come down for this. Uh, and all everybody else that's out, out there, just really good to see everybody. This is a special day, and I'll try and be brief. <laughs> but the bottom line is that uh, this, you know, this special occasion and, and everybody knows I, I'm a huge NCO fan. Absolutely backbone of the Army. Canada produces the finest NCOs, bar none. And I've served with just about every other country. I mentioned to Rory, the Brits are good too. Uh, but I've served with the Americans, I've served with most of the European nations. Middle Eastern nations, but we produce absolutely the finest um, NCOs. They train hard. Uh, they're close to the soldiers. They're with the soldiers all the time. And they're absolutely fantastic advisors to the CO, the commander. And I forgot one guy. Where the hell is it? I kick myself because he should be front row. Uh, Jeremy Lehman, and I can't believe that I forgot Jeremy because that just popped in my mind because I think of excellent NCOs. Right, right there. You know, former Brigade Sergeant Major, now the Division Sergeant Major, and the epitome of an outstanding NCO. Thanks, to, uh, great to see you, Jeremy. And uh, I apologize for missing you. But that's what today's all about. It's about recognizing two two outstanding regimental sergeant majors. RSM LaRouche, last two years, uh, was going to spend a third, but he's been picked up to do bigger and better things. Tons of experience. The first time I met him, he was a troop warrant. We were building a road straight out into the heart of the Taliban. He was a tank troop warrant. Couldn't speak hardly any English. Um, <laughs> and I look at him now and I'm, I'm quite surprised. Uh, but I met him, you know, out in the bush, you know, Sparingar, Massengar, I can't remember where it was, but uh, just an outstanding NCO. Uh, first year, Latvia uh, developed an excellent mentor program uh, for 10 different nations. 
Uh, did some great work with uh, Colonel Kirkhoff on that uh, tour. He's absolutely passionate about taking care of soldiers. And with his amount of time and experience that he's had, uh, there's nobody better uh, to do that kind of work. Not easy during these COVID time frames. I'll tell you, that's added even more complexity. Uh, but a, an excellent, excellent soldier gave the NCO space, you know, with his confidence, give you your left and right of arcs and allow the, the Sergeant Majors to get on with business. Uh, a, a great leader, well respected, and, and I'll tell you what, he'll be missed. But he's going on to uh, bigger things. Uh, going to be the Deputy JAG, I think they call it, Assistant JAG. Uh, he's going to do that from home, Jenik, and I don't know how he's going to do that from home. <laughs> you going to let him stay at home? Two I chief warrant officers and one underneath <laughs> one roof. Uh, but he's got a lovely family, and between the two of them, uh, just just a, a fantastic pair and, and a great family. So thanks to you, RSM, uh, for everything you've done. Uh, I know you're not going far, and we really look forward to seeing you uh, down the road, and I know you'll be back. Uh, just, just great, great work. Just give him a big hand. He deserves a big hand. Chief Warrant Officer LeBlanc coming in. Uh, another NCO with, with unbelievably great experience. Um, you know, he's, he's worked at every one of the different ranks, uh, you know, up through Troop, troop Warrant, Sergeant Major, TQ. Um, he's also worked on the career management side. Um, he's, he's, he speaks French, he, well, he speaks Acadian, right? It's, uh, I can't teach too much. We might actually be related because my son's marrying a little blonde uh, from New Brunswick. Uh, we're checking on that, aren't we? Um, <laughs> just to confirm, but just another excellent NCO. I've had the fortunes of watching him back when I was CO. He was driver for OCA squad and I'm watching him develop. A uh, hard charger when he was younger, still a hard charger now. I had the fortunes of working when I first joined as Colonel of the Regiment. He was the acting RSM. And I'll tell you, somebody that's going to take care of the troops, you've got him right here. He's going to work his butt off to make sure that you guys are taken care of. He's a great advisor. Um, he's, he looks out. He looks down the road. Uh, he's going to be an excellent compliment to the commanding officer. Uh, which is great. So I, I tell you what, the regiment is in great hands. Great hands. So a big, big welcome uh, to RSM LeBlanc. And he's, I'm trying to find out where he is. He's already in position. <laughs> great stuff, RSM. Yeah, welcome. And uh, really look forward to working with you as well. And, I, and I'll just end by, by saying that, uh, you know, we're coming out of COVID. And uh, it was nice to see those bloody masks finally lifted. And the units got some excellent training planned for the fall. Uh, it's really invigorating when I get a chance to talk to you young soldiers. Uh, you held a great barbecue, had a chance to talk to a bunch of you yesterday. I had a, a, an honor guard for me this morning, but the motivation and morale for what, you're, what you do uh, motivates us all. Uh, the world is not a pretty place. And and you've always got to think that way. Everything that you do is focused on training to the best of your ability. I mean, we've got challenges in the Ukraine. We've got challenges in the, the Middle East. We've got a growing China that we just don't know about. You know, we're starting to send more troops into the Ukraine theater. So you've got to be ready to go, just like that. During my time frame, it was the Balkans, it was Afghanistan. You're going to continue to be challenged. And uh, so you've got to be thinking that way. And your CO and the team have got an excellent training plan uh, developed for the, uh, the fall and into the new year. And I really do look forward to joining you. Because as much as I don't mind the odd parade, I do love to get out in the field 
And, uh, and I'll do anything with you. I'll still do PT with you. I'm still a bit of a nut for PT. Uh, but, but anyway, it's great to see everybody. And uh, again, a big hats off to both the RSMs, uh, two tremendous, tremendous uh, capabilities. And uh, again, I, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. And thanks for everybody's back there. Thank you. Nine minutes, 38 seconds. 9.38. The commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Forsyth, will now address the parade. Good morning, Colonel of the Regiment. Sir. Distinguished guests, families, friends, and dragoons. I wanted to take a few moments to thank our outgoing Regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer, Steph Larouche, for his outstanding service to the regiment over these past two years as RSM. Though we did not get much time to work together, it was clear your impact on the regiment and its soldiers was immense. Your steadfast leadership of the NCM and NCO Corps directly contributed to many successes, both at home and abroad, and your wise counsel to both myself and my predecessor enabled our command of the regiment and was very much appreciated by us both. Though you will be donning a green beret, and I know you're not happy about it. Cool. <laughs> I've heard that many times. And moving on to support JAG Central Region Group, I want you to know that once a Dragoon, always a Dragoon, and that you will always be welcome back to our regiment's home here in Petawawa. Best of luck on the next bound. Now with the departure of Chief Warrant Officer Larouche, I also wanted to take the opportunity to welcome the new Sarge Regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer Chris Leblanc. It's only been a little under 12 months since you left the regiment, and I can already tell that you are super pumped to be back. The regiment is very happy to have you back, and I look forward to being your fire team partner as we guide the regiment through these next two years. Here's to your, here's to your success in this very prestigious position. Finally, to all Dragoons, this change of appointment may mark the beginning of a new chapter as we welcome the 50th RSM. But rest assured that our commitment to you has not changed and we will do our very best to promote your welfare and ensure that the success of the regiment as we face the challenges of these next few years. Bold and swift. The outgoing Regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer Steph Lerouche will now address the parade. Don't be scared, I've got four pages. This is just because I don't want to wear my glasses. I just put it a little bit bigger. <laughs> General Milner, General Atkinson, Colonel Rousseau, I'm very happy to have you here this morning. Senator Kirkhoff, my fire team partner for the last two years. CO, where's my CO right now? Right here. <laughs> We're very fortunate to get four former RSM here this morning. Mr. Lehman, who I replaced two years ago. We've got Mr. Mercer, both dad and sons. Mr. Linus Levike, thank you for being here this morning. I've got Janik, um, my fire team partner for 20 years now. Isaac, Marianne was supposed to be here, but she's got two jobs and she won't be here today. You want me to talk closer than that, I guess, right? Chris, Chief Warrant Officer Leblanc, Stacy, your family. Brigade and Base Command Team, all distinguished guests and dragoons. Thanks for you all being here today. First of all, I'd like to thank again the Army and the Regiment to give me that unique opportunity to be the 49 RSM of that great unit. See, already one page done. <laughs> Big, my glasses are here, you know that. General Milner, we had a numbers chat in the last months and I just want to tell in front of everybody that what you do for the regiment you've seen and what you're doing with the guild I really appreciate the soldier thank you very much for everything you've done sir thank you thank you see you 
Shoemaker Foresight. I know we worked together for only eight weeks. I was looking forward to work with you longer. I've been offered a great job opportunity and I took it, but I want to say you something, you will be matched with a good RSM. And I know for a fact that the RCD will be well represented at Brigade with you and Mr. LeBlanc. Thank you, sir, for the last two months. I just want to tell a quick story. When I received a call from uh, Mr. Lehman back in uh, August 2020 to tell me that he wanted to talk to me uh, in his office, F-104, that I first said no because I was busy on base with meeting. He then called the uh, formation trial major to make sure that I was free that afternoon. <laughs> he called me back and said, Steph, I talked with Mr. Donfer, he can come and see me. I never thought of that chat will be in my mind for the rest of my life. Is this, this afternoon that I met for the first time, Mr. Kirkhoff, we all maybe crossed each other at the Emmer School, but it was the first time that I was seated with him in his office. This is why they offered me, if I wanted a job to be the 49th RSM of that great unit, the answer was quite easy. And I was still uh, leaving the next morning because I stole a tour, number two. To Janik, who was supposed to go in Latvia. Anyway, long story that I want to go there today, but I'm still alive. Lieutenant <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Kirkhoff, we've been busy the last two years. We deployed in Latvia in that COVID thing that I think everybody's tracking. <laughs> I drove you, I don't know how many kilometers. Thanks God, not always in Quebec or mud. Sometimes I can drive peacefully and slowly, but when needed, and the CEO needed to be on time. I was switching in in Quebec or mud and we we're on time. <laughs> I just want to tell you, sir, it was great working with you. And I want to thank you for your leadership and all the support that you gave it to me for the last two years. It was awesome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. I don't only want to talk about us. I want to talk about our friendship that we made the four of us. Teresa, Janik, and the both of us made an incredible team. We are still our, our, our chat that we're still spending some Maple Leaf thing and all that stuff on that. And it's been great. Teresa, I would like to thank you for being part of that team for the last two years. And I know we're still chatting and having a lot of fun together. Thank you very much. It's been great. Un gros merci à ma famille. Janik, qui est là depuis 20 ans maintenant. I'm suivi partout. I just want to tell you that two chief water officers in the house that made a lot of, uh, how did I put that? <laughs> Conversation's good too. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice, we did a lot. We moved so many times. Uh, Marianne is not here today, she's got, she's got two jobs. We changed her in grade 10 and we moved her from New Brunswick to Ontario to finish high school. Isaac, I, don't, I stopped counting the number of school that we sent him. We've got Mo who stayed in New Brunswick at move number four. She decided that no, Ontario was not for her. She went back in New Brunswick. And we've got Jeremy who's serving as an intelligence operator in Quebec since uh, four years now. He's a corporal. Good, good, good on him. And I'm reunited with my son, uh, Yannick, in Ottawa now that we've been split for numbers of years. And that job that Mr. Lehman worked to get me, uh, we'll get back the family together in Ottawa. And I really appreciate it. Family, thank you. Yannick, merci pour ton support. I love you. I just don't know you're still loving me for the next 12 months. <laughs> you're not used to having me in a house every day, but I guess you'll get used to it. <laughs> Chris, Stacy, welcome back to the regiment. I cannot think of a better NCO to give to replace me and be in the RSM, the 50th RSM of that unit. Both of you will come back home. Finally, and most importantly, the troop, you guys and girls in front of me. Being the RSM is not always easy. Uh, chain of command needs to deal with a lot of stuff, but I can tell you something. Every day you make that regiment proud. We're sending you on task. We're sending you all over the place. You always answer the call and did an excellent job. I would like to thank you for all the great job you always do for that regiment. Thank you very much. And as already been mentioned, I think it's time for me to go work on my green address. <laughs> I look a lot better in black, but I, in the next few uh, months, I'm gonna have to wear green. 
I would like to thank all of you. Thank you very much. Bold and swift. Thank you. The RSM's driver, Corporal Oregon, will now present Chief Warrant Officer LaRouche with his pennant. The incoming Regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer, Chris LeBlanc, will now address the parade. Colonel of the Regiment, General Milner, sir. General Atkinson. Colonel Russo, Lieutenant Colonel Kirkhoff. Teresa, CO. Gemma, Chief Warrant Officer Lehman, Chief Warrant Officer Buchanan and LaRouche, Chief Warrant Officer La Riviere, Isaac, Chief Warrant Officer Rathwell, to our two CMBG command teams. In attendance today, former RSMs, Chief Warrant Officers retired Sterling Mercer and Sean Mercer, and Dennis Levesque, to my wife Stacy, my father and mother-in-law, to everyone watching, family and friends, Dragoons, good morning. Avant de commencer ce matin, je voudrais prendre une minute pour remercier ma famille acadienne au Nouveau-Brunswick qui malheureusement ne peut pas être ici aujourd'hui. À ma mère, mon père, mon frère, ma famille francophone entière, merci beaucoup de votre support. L'encouragement, la confiance en moi dès le début de cette aventure, il y a presque 30 ans, m'a sincèrement marqué. Et ça m'a fourni une fondation en valeur approfondie qui ont et vont continuer de me guider pendant la carrière entière. I stand before this regiment today, truly humbled, honored and ready for the privilege of being appointed as your 50th Regimental Sergeant Major. Alongside our Commanding Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Forsythe, Azure Dragoon Command Team. Attaining positions such as the appointment of your RSM is never done alone. Without the guidance, mentorship, opportunities provided by some key mentors throughout my entire career, today is, would not be possible. Without the camaraderie, assistance, bonds forged with my brothers and sisters in arms at all rank levels, today would not be possible. Dragoons, we are in fact a team, a family, with relationship and bonds forged in challenge, adversity, support, and courage. No single soldier here, myself included, can complete all of our tasks alone. It truly takes the entire team, our Dragoon family. Every single position within this regiment, from the CO to the newly arrived troopers I've seen today, our maintainers, our technicians, our vital support staff all play a critical role. You all have an important part in ensuring the readiness of our team. I can assure every single Dragoon within these ranks today, to the ones listening, we will be challenged. We will be called upon to serve this great nation as the situation demands it, whenever, wherever, and whatever that may be. The Government of Canada and our society will need each and every one of us to remain vigilant and stand ready for whatever challenges lie ahead. Dragoons, if there is one constant in life, especially within our current CAF, global and national context, is that change is ever present. Changes to our dress regulations, military justice system, new vehicles, increased digitization, new infrastructure right behind me to call home, a new vision for the very structure and employment of our Armour Corps itself, just to name a few will require a center point to ground ourselves in, our foundation. In true degree fashion, the foundation is already in place. Our core values of discipline, service before self, integrity, loyalty, courage, and excellence, when honored and carried in our day-to-day -day actions, will ensure that we are all trained, ready, and that our families and brothers and sisters in arms are cared for appropriately. This guidance, our commanding officer has, and will in the coming weeks, provide and reinforce his command guidance. 
This guidance is influenced by those very values. Dragoons, we are professional masters of mounted warfare. We take pride in the ownership of our equipment. We will always foster professional development. Our value-driven me methodology ensures diversity and inclusion. Truly a positive environment for a team and the entire family to grow. We remain personally and professionally ready, full stop. And last but not least, a factor dear and dear to me are fitness. We are mentally agile, both physically and spiritually fit and resilient. We are emotionally balanced. This is our way, the Dragoon way of doing business, the business of maneuver warfare. In closing, I must thank my fire team partner, my wife, Stacy. Babe, your unwavering support brought me to this point. And now both the regiment and I will need that steadfast support of yours to continue. We are just getting started. To both my entire LeBlanc Barks family, thank you for your continued support and encouragement. It truly means a lot. To our Colonel the Regiment, General Milner, sir. I'm looking very much forward to the continued work with your CD Guild to continue and develop the various projects for both our serving regiment and the retired RCD Association as a whole. Chief Foreign Officer LaRouche, Stefan, thank you for the trust and support over the past years. It is truly appreciated. I wish you, Janik, Isaac, Mariange, and the entire family the best on your next bound. Dragoons, it is such an important day for me that I will cherish indefinitely. However, today must not overshadow our commitment to each other. Our commitment that we will always uphold our core values and that we will hold each other to account. It is after all our duty, our duty to remain ready for our country, our families and our very way of life. CO, sir, your RSM stands ready and eager to navigate the challenges ahead as the RCD command team. Today is truly a great day to be a Dragoon, your 50th Regimental Sergeant Major. Bold and swift, thank you Dragoons.